it's Ashwin Rao. Today I'm presenting you with a unboxing and restoration of this pair that I just received from eBay of a Gaziano and Girling model. This is the Gaziano and Girling Dorchester model, which is their Lazyman full broke um, Oxford in a midnight blue on their TG73 last in a size 9.5F. And this is a used pair, so I'm not expecting the full meal deal. You can still see the boxes in good condition, handcrafted in England. It looks like they've done a nice job doing some bubble wrap, as well as what looks like some shoe covering here. And here we are. Look at that. Gationa and Girling. This is a lazy man that you can see right here. So I'm gonna get to busy to restoring this pair of shoes. We're gonna use Fibing's saddle soap to do a little bit of cleaning. Then I'm gonna take us through a conditioning cycle using Pure Polish Products Leather Cleaner and Conditioner, which will also act to rehydrate these soles after we've removed all of the original wax. Following that, I'm gonna use this Pure Polish Products Navy Bloom Cream Polish. Use a neutral paste wax polish from the same Pure Polish Products. We're gonna do a little bit of a high shine polish. So, okay, so I did the cleaning with saddle soap. And you can see already just removing the previous owner's polishes and creams and just reconditioning, slightly rehydrating the shoes has already made it a little bit more uniform. Definitely a really well-kept shoe, but already looking like quite an improvement. You can see how wetting and then redrying the shoes over a um, uh, shoe tree or helps kind of remove some of the creases, at least superficially initially. So we're gonna work from this point and continue forward with a conditioning job with our pure polish leather cleaner and conditioner and see where that gets us next. So now we have the shoes here having completed the cleaning and conditioning with pure polish products. <clears throat> Let me bring you up. So this is often a place where many people can simply just stop. You can already see that the shoe has regained a lot of its luster and just appeal in terms of visual appeal. I think that it's just already a really fantastic looking shoe just, just right here. So already very excited about what the shoe is turning into. The creases and the wrinkles have smoothed out. I used and worked the cleaner and conditioner into the vamp quite a bit and then um, brushed and brushed and brushed and continued to rub until we saw some of those creases go away. You can see a little bit more of that creasing. I wasn't able to fully remove on this particular pair. This is starting to look like a brand new pair of shoes already. So very excited. And next up, we're gonna do a little cream polish using the Pure Polish Cream Polish, Navy Blue Cream Polish, which should match this guy quite well. So this has already gone applied here in very light application and then we're going to do with just a ton of brushing you can see already the beautiful luster from the navy cream polish that we've obtained here this is not a high shine but you can already see quite a bit of great shine here on this shoe similarly the other pair Really, the shoe's coming together nicely. So we're gonna keep going though and finish up with some black paste wax polish and then finish up a high shine wax polish in a few different coats. So I'm gonna come back after both of those stages are done to keep this efficient. You can see, you can see a little bit more of that mirror shine on the cap toe. And we did some shining on the heel as well. Same idea here, just a beautiful 
high shine finish. So I'm gonna pull off the shoe trees just so you can see this guy has held its shape. And here we are. Katiana and Girling, baby. All right, folks, this was the entire set of items that I used to get this polished along with a couple of just plastic shoe trees, uh, shoe expanders to get this Gaziano Girling back to life. This includes our pure polish, leather cleaner and conditioner, initial application followed by our, our pure polish, navy blue cream polish. And then ultimately, after letting things dry, I alternated paste wax polish in alternating layers with the high shine wax polish. And this is what we're left with here. I also did some brushing. I used a polishing cloth, this polishing cloth. And this is what we are left with. So you can see here, this now beautiful, almost glossage, high shine to the tip there. You can see the luster on the main parts of the shoe, the body, and then you can see similar high shine to the heel here. So you're left with a really beautifully shined shoe. And you can see how a shoe that started out in reasonably good condition, but really not elevated in any way, purchased at a deep discount off of eBay, can then be brought back to life you can see that even with the shoe trees off, you don't see much of the creasing along the vamp anymore on the shoe that was more creased. And again, you can see how beautiful this is. The nice thing I liked is I could actually, from the old usage patterns, I know where the, the creases are gonna basically set. So I avoided those areas when I was applying the wax polishes. So, Gatiano Girling, Dorchester, Lazy Man Oxford, and uh, now it's restored. Hope you're having a good one. Bye-bye.